it's very, very hard to do innocence in films, okay? It can very easily tip over into, you know, uh, sort of saccharine sweetness. And Aardman are the people that you can always rely on to get this kind of thing right. Shaun the Sheep, which obviously a long-running TV programme, has been uh, delighting younger viewers on uh, CBBC for several years, now makes a big screen appearance and... Uh, you know, the the drama is necessarily expanded out, so the animals leave the farm, they go off into the big city where their beloved farmer has, due to an, a, an unrepeatable caravan incident, has suffered amnesia and has ended up thinking that, in fact, he's a celebrity hairdresser. And so there, then, the animals are running around in the big city, having attempting to track down the farmer and find out what's happened to him. So... I went in thinking, please don't let me down, Ardman. You know, I want this to be as good as Wallace and Gromit. I want this to be as good as all, you know, the other Ardmans that I've really, really loved. But aware that, obviously, the source material plays particularly young. Plus, it's a slightly harder ask because there's no dialogue in it. The whole thing about Shaun the Sheep is that Shaun the Sheep doesn't talk. Shaun the Sheep bars. We can't play you a clip because there isn't any dialogue. It's basically a silent movie. But here is a little bit of Justin Fletcher, who is uh, the, who does the, the voice of Shaun the Sheep, who also does on uh, CBB's Justin, Mr. Tumble, Grandad Tumble, Baby Tumble, King Tumble tumbled loads and loads of people here's a little bit of him talking about it when i first started i kind of i think my i'm sure the uh the bar the main bar the kind of <laughs> was quite high um but um i think sean has possibly grown up a tiny bit and is now a, a tad older so it's more of a <laughs> um, but there's so many expressions you know for instance if sean is sad it's there's a lot of like <laughs> You know, you can do the, a little crying kind of... <laughs> but then, of course, Sean could be very happy as well with a giggle in the bar, so it's more... Now, I know that listening to those... That's good. The, the, it is, though. So and I, honestly, I started watching the film and, and I, I, I wanted it to work. You know, I wanted it to... Five minutes in, it was just like, this is it. There are... You know, I used to say, back in the days of Woody... Uh, when you and I were on Radio 1, I used to say there's only two things you can rely on, Woody Allen and Disney, OK? Well, they may not be the most reliable things anymore, but Ardman just never let you down. I just sat there with a smile on my face thinking, this is lovely. This is I can feel my soul being scrubbed clean by the for a start, it's to do with the fact that they the detail and you know the physicality of their anima animation is terrific. When you haven't got voices to make the jokes, you have to do it all with expression, with ex physical expression, with facial expression, and their animators understand how to do that better than most people. They also have a wonderfully cinematic sense, although it remains, it retains that kind of intimacy, that domesticity, the thing that everybody actually likes about Shaun the Sheep, which is that it's fairly small adventures. Even when they're transferred onto this bigger canvas, it still remains about little gestures and, uh, and little movements. Uh, actually, it's a really, really exciting story, despite the fact that it becomes so surreal that at one point all the sheep get together to dress up as a pantomime horse for reasons which I cannot begin to explain. And I just sat there thinking... You know, why can't all animations be made? You, you know, you know, you when you can feel the love that's gone into making something. Shaun the Sheep is just a movie that oozes good nature. And it's not just saccharine good nature. It's not just like a cuddle, although the film does want to cuddle you quite a lot. And I genuinely wanted to cuddle it back. It's that it has an understanding of silent cinema. It's that it has an understanding of the, you know, of the way in which slapstick cinema works, which isn't just about running into a, you know, into a uh, a, a wall right. or falling off a chair or standing on a, you know, a garden hoe that sort of runs up and bang. It's not just about that, although it is about that. So you do get the fart gags. And you know I mean? It was lovely because the film's got a use certificate, but in the BBFC description, it says it contains, I think it's mild peril and some rude humour. <laughs> the and, they're, and they're the fart gags. <clears throat> yeah, and there's and and there's something involved with, with with the pantomime horse, which is just so which is rude, but in a way which is just so bizarrely surreal that it's it, it's impossible to explain. Anyway, I was charmed, delighted. I would happily go and see it again. It will make everybody in the audience feel like they're six years old.